There's the man right there. Charles Weedham Westover. But you all know him as Del Shannon. <laughs> now why did I just show you that picture? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, maybe because I like that guy. Maybe because he's a, a legend. You know, a guy who has never gotten too much, re you know, enough re reckon uh, recommendation or recognition, I guess would be the word, uh, for his accomplishments. He's known for, uh, he's known for the hit song, Runaway, and I'm sure everyone's heard it. And he's also known for the hit song, Hats Off to Larry, Little Town Flirt, and what else is there? Little Town, so I think, Runaway, Hats Off to Larry, Little Town Flirt, and there's a couple, there's like one more. But anyway, the thing is with Della Shannon, he's accomplished so much more uh, than more than meets the eye. I guess I use the Transformer word or, or theme song when I say that because uh, this guy has done well over man. There's like probably five or, or probably well over five hundred original songs that he did and that he performed that nobody has even heard of. And that they would never ever play on the radio. Well, when I was on the radio, and I used to play, you know, have my little deep track show, you know, did my variety show. Uh, I would play those songs, and people would be like, "What the hell are you playing? I've never heard this before. Is this new?" <laughs> it's like no. <coughs> it's like this has been around for like the last forty years or whatever. It's just oh, you never heard it before. Well. So so bad. Oh, uh, so sorry to hear that other radio stations won't play it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, that's not why I'm making this video. By the way, I just figured I'd start start off with that. Now, some people have asked, you know, how come Frankie? How come you have you stopped doing the vlogs? You know, how c you you were on a good roll for the first fifteen days. How come you stopped? Why? Why? What's the per why? Why? Well, first of all, if you remember. I did say that if I were to get a job, that, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take away some of my video time. Now, the job doesn't last that long. It's like maybe five or six hours a day. It depends, you know. But then when I get home, I want to relax and eat whatever and watch some TV, whatever. You know, I gotta start, I'm starting a new routine, you know. Uh, but I'm not stopping filming. That That's, uh, no. I mean, I just... Uh, had to take a little pause there because if you guys know, as I saw it said in the last video, that uh, in yesterday's video, in Thursday's, or no, in Wednesday's video, uh, and now today's Thursday, I, I want you guys to, uh, well, I pretty much just wanted to say that uh, t uh, today is uh, my three year anniversary on YouTube. And I, I, I say that strongly because, you know, of the video that I made on Sunday uh, called uh, called I'll Never Give Up On You. Uh, kind of a controversial video, if you if you would think. But it was getting to the point, and that point being that uh, uh, for the people who, owe, you know, that let people people pick on them on the Internet, let alone, you know, and, and get them so upset that they have to delete their channel and they never get nowhere, you know, that's why I made that point. And for me to be able to celebrate three years on YouTube without even deleting my channel, without even getting flagged on my channel, without even, you know, the last video I put up, I had like 25 dislikes. But see, the thing is, I don't care about that stuff. You know, the, the dislikes don't mean anything to me. I'm not a partner. It won't affect, <clears throat> you know, my payments or whatever, or what I get paid or whatever on here. So I'm not worried about it. You know, a lot of people are like, geez, man, you got over 25 dislikes. What's wrong? It's like, hey, maybe it's just because I brought up a, a, a important fact about, you know, certain trolls or whatever, certain people. But I want to keep talking like that. In this video, uh, I want to do, to, what we're going to do is we're going to do something different. Kind of like going back to the old way before I started doing the daily vlogs. Uh, you probably won't see this till probably Saturday. <clears throat> more likely uh, Saturday, you know, sometimes Saturday. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, uh, this is going to be like maybe uh, two parts, maybe. Uh, start off with this intro introduction. And then uh, t uh, tomorrow we have the John Anderson concert. And I, I want to uh, bring the camera for that as well. 
uh, to, to celebrate my anniversary. Now, I was not able to get the interview with Carl Olenslot. Uh, you know, every time I've asked him, he's been uh, very busy all the time, or he's, you know, or he was free, and then all of a sudden he, you know, would tell me that, you know, you know, oh, something else came up or whatever. So, I don't know. I think I'm just not going to worry so much about that. He hasn't responded back to my last uh, uh, question anyway. So, or last time I you know, asked him to see if we could do the interview. I said, we could do the interview this week if you want because this is my special week because it's my three-year anniversary. But he hasn't gotten back to me. And he probably won't. I mean, it's sad. You know, I, I wish, you know, I mean, when he told me we could do the interview... That he go, all of a sudden decides that it's, he's too busy to do it. So it's like, oh, well, I'll find somebody else. We'll, we'll make this better. If not during my little anniversary week, I'll figure out something. Um, there might be a, a YouTuber out there that I might uh, interview. That uh, is someone who's been around for a little while. Uh, I might do another. If you remember last year in my daily vlogs that I did, I did a thing called Breaking the Ice. Uh, it's a thing with uh, what movie one that... Uh, kind of one of the first actual videos that what movie one and I actually did as far as I can remember I think so I think it would be yeah one of the first actual videos uh, one of the first actual times that he was on my channel and I was on his channel but we but we both recorded it this time around I don't know how it would be but I might <clears throat> ask a, a certain U, uh, a YouTuber if I can do an interview with him and call it breaking the ice with blah 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 you know, so we introduce you to, so I can introduce you to another YouTuber that uh, is uh, making videos and all that that would like to get noticed a little bit as well as me. I like to, but <coughs> oh, excuse me. But in this video, I simply want to say thank you. Uh, and this is a time now where we get a little little sober, a little bit little little sober moment because um, I know there's a lot of people that that uh, think that. I'm nothing but controversy, and since I've been a part of YouTube for the last few years, that here and there, you know, I have my ups and downs. You know, I'm like an elevator; I have my ups and downs. But we all, we all are like that. We all go through that. You know, and it, it's, you know, it's probably not the way a YouTube video should be. But uh, I pretty much want to take the time now because it is my anniversary. And God damn it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say some thank yous to those people that really, that really matter to me in my YouTube life. The, the people that I wish that if I, if, if we were all together, we, we definitely would be, uh, well known for, you know, if you put all our minds together and we put all our videos together and all our ideas together, you'd see some awesome videos. I guarantee it. Uh, of course I want to say thank you to the, the, the two people who got me started on YouTube. Actually the, yeah, the two people who got me started and then the one guy who, who I've been following and been friends with for a long time uh, uh, as well. The two people that got me started on YouTube, the very the very two people, the very reason why I'm even here is because of Sean C. Phillips, a.k.a. Cool Duder, and MJ Kelly, uh, MJ Kelly Zero uh, on YouTube. Uh, if it wasn't for their daily, or not their daily vlogs, but their, their weekly uh, Around the Town videos, I probably wouldn't even decide to make a camera. And I think also if it wasn't for the DVD updates, the DVD update that Sean would do, and the cool room that he had, I really miss the old room, the old basement, because, I mean, the, the new the new house they got, it was pretty cool, but I, I miss the old the way they had it, it set up, the original basement, because that would be my dream basement, and I'm pretty sure it would be the dream basement for everybody else, too. It would be perfect. There ain't nothing wrong with it. So whoever lives there now... It probably doesn't realize how good they got it. <laughs> or how much history is there. But I also want to say thank you to uh, 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 Sean's brother, Ethan, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Dwee will 1, 2, 3, 4. And also uh, his parents, uh, uh, Stephen uh, Phillips and uh, uh, Kim, because, uh, well, you know it was Herb and Gina, but uh, pretty much the entire Phillips family, because, you know, if it wasn't for them... You know, I, I definitely probably wouldn't even start making YouTube videos at all. And I know I, 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 I talk about them a lot, you know, by, you know, randomly in videos and whatnot. And they talk about me once in a while in their videos. But it really, I mean, I really have them to thank overall because 
their humor and their wit and, and just the knowledge that they know. They're a family that... I wish my family was like them. You know, we go to movies together because we used to do that when I was growing up. We all used to go to movies together. Hell, my brother and I and my sister, we... <coughs> Actually, it was mostly just my brother and I. We go to movies together all the time, you know. But hardly ever as a family, but maybe once in a while. But these guys... <sighs> They do a lot of family stuff together, you know, and that's what I appreciate, you know, that, and, and they're funny, that, you know, you don't always have to be serious all the time, you can you can take a break and be funny, and I wish Herb would make more videos, and, and Kim too, you know, you should start yourself a, a channel, I think that'd be kind of cool, you know, you're, you got a lot of uh, edu education in you as well, you can teach us some stuff. Uh, anyway, so I have them to thank, and I have my boy, what movie won, you know, Brandon Mitchell, of course. Uh, who I mentioned a lot on YouTube, and he mentions me on his channel as well. He's a great guy. He's somebody who who was good friends with Sean Phillips. But it's not just because he's friends with Sean Phillips that I like the guy. I like the guy because he's also uh, very funny. He has a lot of wit, a lot of knowledge. Uh, he's smarter than he looks. Trust me. You know, I mean, I feel bad for the guy because of the way his, you know, the way he lives, or the way like you know he lives with his parents and all that stuff, and in a small little apartment and. You know, he said he's lived on his own before. And I, you know, just like myself, I've lived on my own before too. I mean, I have the proof. Just go back and look at some videos, some older videos. Even the one from before I got fired from, from Hugo's. So I've lived on my own. And I just hope for the best for, for Brendan because he's a good guy. <clears throat> he, he should be making good money, making films and stuff, just like all these other directors and stuff. But for some reason, I, I don't think he has enough confidence in himself. You know, and, and he's afraid to, to really step it up. That's why he, he just does the small stuff. <clears throat> you know, the independent stuff or whatever. And there ain't nothing wrong with doing that. But I also want to say thank you to a lot of other people. Like uh, Robbie, Robbie Webster. Uh, you know, he's a great guy. I want to thank... Uh, well, I want to thank all... Who else is there? There's Shane Jensen... No, I, I, I don't really talk to Shane Jensen. I'm not really that close to him like some people are. But he is somebody that I do have a lot of respect for. And I think the way that he does his videos, it's almost kind of like a... And, and I don't mean to be too crazy, but his videos are, are almost like watching Miss, an episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. But they're really good, though. I mean, that makes him even better. I mean, if he, if as a way to introduce his videos, he took off his shoes or whatever and started saying it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, that'd be perfect for Shane Jensen. Uh, but no, I, I really like the fact that he's, you know, that he's, he sticks with a certain format, and he's very, he's another guy who's very smart, who should be a top YouTuber, you know, he should be just like the Shaytards, he should be in that category, he's so smart, he knows, you know, he knows his stuff, and, and for being a single guy, he has the opportunity, because he doesn't have a wife or kids or anything, he has the opportunity to really make it big, but I think because of his job that he has as an office person, and whatnot, and, and just the fact that he doesn't want to sell out to anybody, I think that's why he sticks with the format that he does, and he just does it for the hell of it. But he's a good guy. Uh, Tom the Man, sixty-eight. Uh, that's the guy that I was kind of referring to as far as uh, somebody who's been on YouTube so many times and had so many damn channels, and you know. But every time, like every just about every time, he makes a channel. It wasn't like that in the beginning. I mean, for a long time, he, he sucked. You know, people knew him as Tom the Man 68 uh, originally. And then they had the channel called Tom the Man 68 Archives, which kind of archived all his videos. But he just kept on deleting his channel and deleting the channel. And, you know, I'm not bashing you, Tom, because you're you're a great guy. You're another one who, you know, seems like you, you really have a lot of creative juices that would definitely, you know, if we were all together, everybody that I mentioned, I think... Uh, we could definitely make those creative juices uh, actually happen. But because we're all in different areas, it's kind of hard for that to happen. But we're all, that's just the thing, though. We're all going to be all friends, you know, for as long as we're on YouTube or as long as we all are, are around. And and that's also important when you when you have your really, your real good buddies sticking together behind you 100% no matter what. But the thing is, you know, if you're going to keep deleting your channels, you're never going to get nowhere. You know, like here, I celebrated three years anniversary already because I never delete my channels. I never let anybody get to me, no matter what. No matter how personal the situation was, I still never let nobody get to me. I still outlasted anybody that thought I would never make it. You know, that I'd never 
stick with it or whatever. So, just an idea for you, Tom. But thanks to you for watching and being a friend and everything. And, you know, here's to the future. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> All right, we got some time left. <laughs> <coughs> ah, try to get rid of a cold. So, yes, I, I do have a little bit left of a cold. But anyway, I'm not going to let that bother me. There's a few other people that I want to thank, too. Uh, this goes back to the early days of YouTube when I first started. Uh, uh, some of these people probably would never talk to me ever again. And, you know, that's fine. I'm not, you know, ashamed, you know. I mean, but I'm just doing this because uh, I I just feel it's probably the best thing to do. Uh, guys like uh, Patrick Butler uh, and username uh, SC or uh, no uh, STCO23 Stone Cold 23 or S or Sitco 23 or whatever. He and I had it out going way back, you know, because of the Five Awesome Studs channel and. And, you know, a lot of the people, you know, had it out going with the Five Awesome Sun Channel because that was uh, a very, <clears throat> it started, it was never t intended to be a controversial channel, but some of the people who I asked to be a part of the, the, the channel to make it good, some of the weekend people as well, they kind of, I, I guess, decided to turn their back on me, I guess. Not everybody did, you know, but just a certain people thought that I was a piece of shit or something like that because of the direction that I was going, but... You know, the, the thing is, you know, with, with, with like Patrick Butler or like Zaren Isaac or Razman's Reality or Do Not Take You Seriously or anybody who, or, you know, even Chris Stilwell, you know, 1985 you know, dude, uh, he's never had a problem with me. We've always got along. But even then, I mean, it's just a lot of back and forth stuff going on. And the thing is, I wanted to really, 2009 was the year that I really wanted to, to do something to commit to something that was really going to shape the, f the way we watch videos. And I think we did that. Because we had over 300 videos on that channel. And then some idiot decided, and I don't know who it was. You know, I, I still believe it could have been Ardrill Hagen uh, 324 uh, deleted the channel because uh, he just couldn't take it no more. He just, you know, he kept on adding more drama to it even after I gave him the channel and everything. And, but, uh, I don't know, some people have asked me, you know, to, even though I said I would never do this again, but some people have asked, you know, the possibility, would you ever consider doing another channel? It doesn't have to be called the Five Awesome Suns, but would you ever consider being, or uh, would you ever consider doing, uh, like, another collab channel? And I was like, well, if I ever did, I'd want to make sure that I'd give somebody the keys to the city, meaning that... Somebody, I would pick some random person, or somebody would have to sh prove to me that they would like to help run things. Because I, for one, don't want to run things. And I'm not trying to put all the work on somebody else or whatever. It's just that uh, I would love to be a part of it, but I would like to be more behind the scenes. Like, we'd get some people together, we'd pick, you know, we'd get like five people together that could do something during the week. And maybe once in a while, like, I'd pop in, like, during the weekend or something like that and let another person pop in for a weekend or for a Saturday video or whatever. Kind of like how they do it on the Rough Cuts channel. Uh, because I just think that uh, if we did it like that, that would probably be better. But I'd like to find some YouTubers that actually have some subscribers that actually have maybe more than 2,000 subscribers, maybe even maybe even 3,000 subscribers because the more people that you have with subscribers that see who you are and that know what your other channels are, that's going to help you in the long run. So if there's anybody out there that would like to help out with this and with, the, with this future project, and now that I have a job and now that I know that I will, that everything's good now, I think I would like to maybe try it out again and see how it go. You know, no more controversy, but we get people that actually have a lot of subscribers, you know, at least more at least more than 2,000 at least I mean I'm getting close to 2,000 but you know what I mean the more subscribers you have in a channel the more it's going to be successful look how successful the rough cuts have been they got over 5,000 subscribers on that channel and right away when they first started they got about 2,000 because they got people on the channel that have big subscribers you know not just because you're from Los Angeles or whatever that doesn't make a difference I mean, you can be from Timbuktu and have a shitload of subscribers, and there you go. But, 
I really feel, I really feel that if we did this, it could be a lot more successful than it ever has been before. So that's just my idea. But anyway, I just want to thank everybody else, you know, who has ever watched the videos, all the fans, all the people, you know, all all my friends. Even if you're not subscribed to me and you watch me via Facebook or Twitter or MySpace or whatever, uh, just I I do appreciate it. You know, uh, I'm not trying to make videos to make anybody get anybody pissed off. I make videos because I like to do it, and I have a camera, and maybe eventually I'll, I'll you know, because I heard those flip cameras are, are getting cheaper now. They're, like, cheaper to buy. I would like to get <clears throat> get eventually a, a brand new camera. I've had this one for three years, the one that I have, and it would be nice to get an actual widescreen camera now. You know, that would be great, because this has been a good camera, and I pretty much have taken it everywhere I could to make videos, and I will until... I am able to get a different one, so I'll look around and see it, you know if they're if they are cheaper or whatever now, and because I was watching an episode of Fam Damley and they were at Costco and they were like selling them for fifty bucks a piece, brand new, because flip videos uh, out of business now I guess so so they're not making cameras no more. So we'll see what happens I guess, but uh, until then, uh, uh, in, in part two of the video you're gonna see. Uh, uh, us go to a John, a my dad and I go to a John Anderson concert. Yes, the legendary John Anderson is going to be performing around my area where I live. And, well, I live in Greenbush, so we're going to go 40 miles to Warren, Minnesota and check out the concert. It should be a lot of fun. And maybe because we've got VIP uh, seats, we might be able to go visit or might be able to go backstage and all that. That would be great. So, anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, for another great Frank Slesso video. Our anniversary will continue to the whole weekend. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do something fun each video up to Sunday. So happy anniversary everybody. And happy anniversary to me. And we'll see you guys.